when we load a CSV file into Snowflake tables using copy command from stage location and if there are any duplicate entries in the same data file, neither the file format nor the copy command has any parameter that can prevent the data duplication into the Snowflake table. What if many data files are available under different partition like by month, by date or by hours and there are data rows that already exist in other data files under different partition and we have to make sure all the duplicate record should not be processed. How can we achieve that and ensure that only unique records are processed as part of single copy command? Especially when Snowflake does not enforce any unique constraint on the table and allow duplicate data set to be part of it. So this episode, episode 7 of data loading will focus on deduplication use case and what's need to be done while running copy command to avoid it. Welcome back to my channel Data Engineering Simplified and to this how to load data into a snowflake series for true data professionals like you. Chapter 7 will also load some sample data and I'm assuming that you already have SnowSQL CLI installed else you would not be able to load and practice all the data set being used in this episode. You can download all the sample data file and SQL script from my website refer the link below in the description section. We will practice all the points listed in this tree map using Snowflake free trial edition. Many important scenarios are already covered in our last six episode and if you have not seen those chapter you can watch them if they interest you. There are a lot of exciting things to learn in this playlist and all of them will help you to become more proficient Snowflake data developer. So still until the end of this video let's start our hands-on using SnowSight web UI. First, I would like to try if a file format can be created with a parameter called duplicate allowed equals to true or false. Let's try it out. So this is the parameter which I have added on the top of standard file format. It ends with an error saying allowed duplicate is not a valid file format for type CSV. This parameter is applicable for a different file format. However, it is not allowed in CSV file format. We will see in which particular file type this parameter is applicable in a separate video. So if this parameter is not allowed, how we can load the data in Snowflake by removing the duplicate entries from our data file. So let's understand this process. I am going to create a table called user. It has total six fields. So my table is created successfully. It has no record. Now I have a couple of sample file available in this user stage. Let's see them. So this is the user data file which I am going to load. Let's review this file into the VS code. So this is how my file looks like. The first row is a header row. It has total six fields. It is having 1002 records. So if you look into the ID 1 and ID 2, these entries are available twice. When I'm going to load this data, the snowflake will load all the 1002 rows along with these duplicate items. Okay, let's go back to our snow site. I'm going to run the copy command with two duplicate record for ID 1 and ID 2. Okay, so this is considering this file and the file format is allowed duplicate FF force equals to true on error continue. Let me run this copy command. I forgot to create the file format. Rerunning the copy command. So total 1002 rows are parsed and exactly the same amount of rows are loaded. No errors. Good. It took roughly 2.2 seconds. And if I go and check the query profile, so it is scanned the external stage, loaded the data and finally result is displayed. It is scanned roughly 0.06 MB of file and converted that 0.06 MB file into 0.04 MB file. Good. Now I can see how much data is written. So total 1002 rows are inserted. Okay. Now let's check and see the duplicate item. And it is clearly visible that this file format did not help me to remove the duplicate items and ID 1 is appearing twice and ID 2 is appearing twice. Rest of the data set is coming in a certain sequence. Looks good. The file format does not have any parameter 
which helps to remove the duplicate we have to do something with our copy command and here i have a new copy command which is using a distinct clause on the top of my data file okay before that i will truncate my table so my table is empty now i am going to run this copy command i am going to run this copy command and let's see what happens again it managed to parse 1002 records and there is no error good let's see the query profile before i check the data set and i see a difference right after the table scan it performs an aggregate function and after aggregate function it actually insert the data it has read 0 0.06 mb of data and it has written 0 0.04 mb of data good when i click on this insert box it says it has written just 1000 rows instead of 1002 let's go back to our worksheet let's check the row count so i got 1000 rows and let's see the data set and if you notice the number one and number two they are not duplicate perfectly fine and if i scroll down i can see there is a different sequence in the first attempt when i did not use any select statement for my copy command everything was appearing in a sequence however when it has performed an aggregation and remove the duplicate it has lost its sequence okay however it managed to remove all the duplicate row items which was available in the data file okay so by having this distinct star from the external stage you can really remove all the duplicate item and ensure that you do not have any duplicate record available when you are running a copy command and your query profile will have one extra step called aggregate before it performs the insert operation if I look into this copy command, it does not have much difference because it is a very small file. We'll try to see how the performance works when it comes to a large data set. Now, we are going to talk about a scenario when we have a multiple files and each file might have a duplicate record which belong to a different data file. So in that case, how can I perform the deduplication from my stage location? Okay, so let me truncate my table. So my user table is empty. Let's review the data file in my stage location. Here I have a two file which is sitting in the folder called CSV hours. And let's say the 7 pm file has been duplicated at 8 pm and they are exactly the same content. And if I run a copy command using a pattern matching, what would happen? Let's review the file. So this is my 7 pm file and it has a header. It is exactly 1000 rows and ID start from 1 to 1000. Going to the next file which is 0308 pm and it is exactly the duplicate file i'm assuming a scenario where somebody has copied the same file with a different name and if i'm going to use a copy command how copy command will remove the duplicate item let's go back to snow site so this is exactly the same copy command where it is picking the file from csv our location and only one change i have done it i have not specified the name of the files here because the file will be picked based on this pattern okay i have total 1000 rows in each file so total 2000 rows and when i run this command it should really remove all the duplicate and effectively load 1000 line items so both the data set got loaded successfully there is no error it took 1.4 second and let's see the query profile first it scanned 0.16 MB file and effectively it has written 0 0.05 MB file. Good. And after scan, it has performed the aggregation, which is nothing but distinct. And then it has inserted the record. And here it has inserted exactly 1000 rows. Good. Going back to my worksheet, let's see the data in the user table. And I do not have the duplicate rows. However, the sequence of my insert operation is not exactly what I expected, but no issues. I can still manage because I do not have any duplicate rows. If I do, now I can see I have total 1000 rows and it is start with one, two, three, four. Looks good. So even if I have a files available in partition and when I'm loading all the files together, my distinct function works appropriately. Let's see how much time it has taken compared to other two copy statement. So this also took roughly 1.4 second, very similar to this copy command. Now we are trying to simulate a large file which has 500k record 
And again, these files are available under a certain location. And the first file is named 05.10 p.m. Second file is named 06.11 p.m. And the third file is named 07.12 p.m. I have total 500k records in each of the file and they are exactly the same record. Let's assume a situation where somebody has placed same file, three different name and this file need to be processed by Snowflake using a copy command. First, I am not going to deduplicate and see how much time does it take and how much data does it save. And second, I am going to deduplicate and insert the data into a different table and trying to compare the performance. Let's go back to my Snow site. So I'm going to create this table called customer table, which has a 15 field. And we have already seen this customer data in our first few chapters. So this is called customer duplicate, which will hold all duplicate record. Let's list all the files which we have just reviewed. So I have this three file, which is close to 75 MB, looks good. And they are five, six and seven CSV. Now I am going to load this data from this big data, our location. I'm going to use the same duplicate file format. This is the pattern used to pick all the CSV file. So we have total 220 MB of file size and let me run this copy command. So all the file loaded successfully. I have no issues. It took 5.7 seconds. Let's quickly see the query profile. So it has first scan, no aggregation this time. It is directly reaching to the insert step followed by the result step. It has a scan. 216 MB file and finally compress them in a micro partition and create it three. again if you have not seen my micro partition uh, chapter and this is the video where you will get everything about micro partition going back to my worksheet okay let's see how much data do we have so I have total 1.5 million rows available and when I run this group by command so each customer appears three times because I have exactly same file and obviously I will have three entries for each of the customer. Good. Next, I'm going to create exactly the same table structure, but I will give a different name called customer unique. So the table is empty. I'm going to run the copy command and in this copy command, I am actually running a deduplication statement using the distinct clause and it is picking the file from the same location and all other parameters are exactly same. So let me run this copy command and let's see what happens. So it took 3.9 seconds. Since we are using the same virtual warehouse, I assume it has used the virtual warehouse cache to load the data from, okay? And that's why this query has performed better than the previous query. Again, if you have not seen my virtual warehouse video, I would request you to watch this video. Let's see the query profile. Now, after the scan, it has used the aggregate step to remove the duplicate item and finally inserted the data. And if you see from 216 MB, it has loaded only 13 MB of data compared to 38 MB in the previous attempt. Okay. And here it has inserted only 500 K instead of 1.5 million record. So here you can see 1.5 million rows read and 15K rows inserted. If I go back to the previous query profile here, it has read 1.5 million and it has inserted exactly the same number of rows. Looks good. Let's do the record count. Only 500K records. And if I perform this group by command, so all the customers are appearing once. Perfectly fine. And if I look into the query history, obviously this query has taken 5.7 second compared to this query, which has taken 3.9 seconds. Not a big difference. However, when it comes to the storage or further data processing, it adds little value. However, if your data is coming on a different time frame and you're running a multiple copy command, deduplication becomes a little challenge and you have to follow a different approach to deduplicate your data. So you have to load the data into stage tables and from there you have to join your stage table with your curated table and then only the unique record should insert into your curated data set. Let's quickly our copy history for the user table. Here I have loaded the four different files at different time and all the data got loaded successfully without any issue and this is how the status looks like. 
If we come to the copy history for customer duplicate, all the three data set got loaded and each of the file is having a 500K of record size. Total record size is 1.5 million and 38.4 MB of data. On the other side, if you look into the customer unique table copy history screen, it also has got three data set loaded. Each of them are having 500K rows. And if you sum all of them, it also comes to 1.5 million rows record. However, the total record count is 500K and the total data size is 13 MB. So by following dollar notation and select statement inside a copy command, you, you can really use a distinct clause and make sure that you deduplicate all your records from inside a single copy command. However, if you are running a multiple copy command, deduplication needs a different approach altogether. Before we proceed further, I would like to share something with you. Snowflake Cloud Data Warehouse is the future. It is such a powerful platform with great features that it will eventually replace many legacy data platforms. I have been adding many simple and real life scenario based videos and playlists so you all can learn. You don't need to buy any expensive courses. All my contents are freely available on this channel. My channel audience really enjoys them and yes, your success and your feedback really matters a lot. So do not hesitate and share it with me. We have seen and learned a lot. What we have not seen, how to validate data after data is loaded or before data loading and many more scenarios. And they are all covered in other videos available in this playlist. So stay tuned. And if you think this channel content is helping you, do me a favor by subscribing this channel. And yes, don't forget to press the like button. If you want YouTube to recommend the next best snowflake video from Data Engineering Simplified. Thank you for listening so patiently. Keep learning and keep growing.